The Scorpio, India's latest weapon in the biofuel battle, runs on weeds, specifically Jatropha, which pollutes 90% less than petrol. It's got a big thing behind it, and the big thing is it runs on vegetable oil, on, it runs on biofuel. And it saves the environment, it really saves the environment. It, it's, it's a clean car, if you start the car, Take a wet handkerchief, white wet handkerchief, put it on the exhaust, take it out like this. You don't see a single speck of carbon on it. But there's one thing that has Indian entrepreneur Akshat Rati waiting before going full steam ahead. Jetrofa sounds good on paper, but some say this plant is not a sustainable biofuel solution. Dr. Chalpati Reddy oversees 350,000 acres of Jetrofa production in India. Across the globe, people say Jatropha plant is a wonder plant. But when I'm talking Jatropha plant for biodiesel making, it's not a wonder plant. The plant grows well on marginal and arid land, appealing in a country that experienced its worst rainy season in 40 years. But if Jatropha is produced on a larger scale to meet the demand as a biofuel, that's when things get problematic. As a weed, the oil output from the Jatropha seed is inconsistent, not good enough for meeting constant commercial demand. A 2009 study found commercial Jatropha requires almost four times more water than sugarcane or corn to maximize yields. It then runs the risk of cutting into India's food crop, much like the corn-based biofuel, ethanol. Rati's company, Earth 100 Biofuels, leases Jatropha-powered cars to Indian businesses. Rati says he has deliberately avoided using commercial Jatropha to power his fleet. What we wanted to do is was make sure it runs and people are aware that you are, we are consume, consuming this fuel which is from marginalized land, it is from wasteland, it is growing wild. Earth 100 uses crops from the central Indian state of Chhattisgarh where locals are paid to pick the wild plant under a government scheme. The Scorpio is India's first 100% biofuel-powered car. It can also run only off of diesel, or a mixture of biofuel and diesel. When companies opt for biofuel instead of petrol, they are paying less than a penny more per kilometer. They see a car which I pay extra to go ahead and run because I care for the environment. And you know what? How much it costs extra per month in real, real numbers for a corporate to run a fleet of 20 cars? It costs you 10,000 rupees. That's 200 US dollars a month extra. This has created a rise in demand for Rati Scorpio. But he has limited distribution to Indian businesses. The Indian government wants 20% of the diesel sold in India to be made from plants within the next seven years. Rati is looking farther down the road. Jatropha is a good interim solution. It will last us for the next two to three years. But we need to go ahead and look beyond the horizon. We need to think maybe in 10 years, 20 years, 50 years beyond petroleum. 